Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, quite a quite an ordeal for sure. Yeah, excited about it. Um, you know, I'm like, just happy to represent my school and a great offensive line I was lucky enough to play on, and uh, kind of the ultimate honor being in with all these great players going in the Hall of Fame. So. It's, it's funny in the press conference of how many, a bunch of people mentioned like the greatest era of football. There's a lot of guys three years to four years older and under me uh, that I played against in pros in college on either end that I was older or younger than. And I think a half of that whole crew was within a span of a 10 year period, it seems like. So uh, it, was, it was great to see a lot of the guys and, and a, really a great class of players. Yeah, it was more like 30 years ago, but <laughs> two years ago. But uh, yeah, no, I, you know, I'm from a town. I had 30 people in my class in high school, played at a small school. So no, you know, I, to go to Nebraska was a dream come true. And then I, after playing, uh, my, after my freshman year, I played with Will Shields next to Will Shields, who's in the Pro Hall of Fame. And I, and he went and played pro. And I was like, well, maybe I can do this too after, you know, playing with guys that, that made it. And then... Uh, you know, played until I was 36 and have kind of just kept working and forgot about football until this pops up and what an honor. So, uh, uh, Tom Osborne for sure, best, best person, coach, uh, better person than, you know, than the coach. He's just, uh, is all the earth. My, my, my offensive line coach who's passed away now, uh, Milt Tenerper was just a great mentor to me as well. And, uh, you know, with those guys, uh, it was always about being a good person more than just football. And it seems like when you take care of being a good person, the football stuff seems easy. So. Right. Uh, well, just yeah, be tough, move your feet, take pride in what you do, try to get better every day. It's just that. It's all it is. And, uh, you know, we ran the ball a lot back then, but... Um, yeah, it's, uh, I was fortunate, you know, that a lot of it was having good players around you, too. Yeah, any big obstacles that you had to get to this point that you look back on now and say, wow? Oh, you know, everyone has a, a, a tough road to where they get to to get to this level. So uh, no, probably nothing any harder than anybody else, but uh, just a lot of hard work and effort over years of, you know, getting up a lot of times where you don't feel like getting up and, uh, and just make yourself do it. And... I would have to say that I've learned through through sports, everything in life, you know, playing in front of 80,000 people, any challenge after that comes in life seems pretty easy, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't had that opportunity to meet him yet, heard great things. Uh, you know, Trev Alberts, the AD there now is a good friend of mine, so I'm sure he picked a good, good person for the job, and uh, we're looking forward to getting Nebraska back on the map here. It's about time the Huskers put a, a team that people fear again on the field. I sure hope so. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it.